in the Just a Game. It was a very clean start, and Gina Romantica wants the early lead, but Evie Jets is flashing good early foot, and so is White Beam on the outside. So it's Evie Jets in front. White Beam takes second, but Tekeshe is on the inside, and the yellow color's third. Gino Romantica backs off fourth, well spotted, three lengths off the lead. It's another three back to Mission of Joy, who is by herself, too clear of Chili Flag, and stretch running Coppice at the back of the field. Evie Jets, Dylan Davis trying to slow things down right away with White Beam right next to her. The opening quarter went in 23 and 4 fifth seconds. Gino Romantica is racing a joint third on the outside of a well held Boutique and now Coppice also headstrong in fifth along the inside. Mission of Joy, a neck behind her, and another two to Chili Flag. 48 and three for the half, and it's Evie Jets taking them into the far turn, three quarters of a length. White Beam poised in second. But to Cachet rides the rail in third. Gina Romantica in the clear. Coppice between those two. Mission of Joy and Chili Flag. They're covered by six lengths with a quarter of a mile to go. They went 48 and 3 for the half, 112 and 1 for six furlongs. Evie Jets and White Beam have been 1 2. White Beam sticks her gray head in front inside the final eighth of a mile. Gina Romantica, here's Chili Flag coming with a huge rally in the center of the course. And Chili Flag is running them all down. Chili Flag, an enormous day for Arad Ortiz Jr., has won the Jesta game. It's a photo between White Beam and an oncoming mission of. Off a of step slowest spray, who's going to be the early trailer? White Beam's got early speed, so does Spirit and Glory in between horses. Spirit and Glory wants the front and will get there, is now up by a half length. White Beam goes right with her and they move quickly into that turn. Just off of them, it's going to be Quarrel, who's going to let the front two press on, is now already three lengths back. Now give it four. Back in the third position, it's another four. Back to Esprit and the trailer. Nisi Marie, White Beam goes after the lead. It's White Beam who's now up by a neck, 24 seconds flat for that opening quarter mile, and it was a pressured one as Spirit and Glory is going to come right back to the inside here of White Beam and these two in a pace duel on the front end. It's still Spirit and Glory now with a head in front has come back on White Beam who's going to just try and catch a breather now. They are seven lengths clear from Quarrel. The big long shot is alone in third, 47 and four, the half mile time. Esprit is content to be second to last. Nisi Marie is at the back end of the field, about 10 lengths from front to last, and they move into the far turn together. Spirit and Glory and White Beam, they continue to duke it out. It is Spirit and Glory with a head in front. White Beam is ready to re-engage towards the outside, and here comes White Beam ready to contend for the lead. 111 and three for three quarters of a mile. They reach the top of the lane and the front two are still well clear of the rest to the inside it's spirit and glory to the outside it's white beam white beam is trying to push on by a very stubborn spirit and glory it's down to these two so far inside that final furlong nisi marie is launching grandstand side white beam to the outside spirit and glory can nisi marie get up in time white beam spirit and glory the oncoming strides of nisi marie in time nisi marie in the final stages wins the bowl game in a Stretch running. They're all in line. They're off in the matriarch. Boutte Caché, White Beam, and Tither inside. Rushing on through is Graceland Gray to grab the front, and White Beam's going to go right with her. Then it's Hamwood Flyer who's taken back, hard in hand on the inside, racing for that first turn. Queen Goddess and Elm Drive are next, and in between horses, Boutte Caché. Break of two to surge capacity. Going wide there is Ruby Nell into that turn around closing remarks, and then comes Fluffy Socks and Alunda Queen. Wakanaka is last to a 22.8 opening quarter mile. Graceland Gray onto the back stretch in front. White Beam and Hamwood Flyer heads apart second and third by two. Elm Drive is fourth. To her inside, Boutte Caché is fifth. Queen got a six. She's got six lengths to make up. And surge capacity on the inside as they continue up the back stretch. Ruby Nell is next, and then Alunda Queen. Closing remarks, Fluffy Socks and Wakanaka. 45.89 was the half mile. Graceland Gray heads for the far turn in front.
White Beam is right there in contention on the outside, three quarters of a length behind. Elm Drive has taken third. Ruby Nell circles up on the far outside. Hamwood Flyer is in behind them, then Boutte Caché. Coming wide is Fluffy Socks, Queen Goddess, and on the inside, Surge Capacity. They're into the stretch, and White Beam has taken charge. Surge Capacity is bottled up in traffic. Fluffy Socks is closing on the far outside. Elm Drive there, too, with Ruby Nell. Fluffy Socks takes the lead. Surge Capacity rolls up the rail and gets there. Surge Capacity and Fluffy Socks together on the wire in the matrix. And they're off at the First Lady, presented by UK Healthcare. In Italian comes out for the early lead. White Beam is there to her inside, but In Italian starts to move up with the lead into the first turn. This name is okay. Moves forward toward her outside. White Beam quickly gets down next to the rail. In third, Jumbly is alongside of her, forwardly placed between horses. In fourth, Gina Romantica from the inside starting spot hugs the rail. In fifth, Evie Jet sixth to her outside. Gam's mission is seventh. And New Year's Eve is last of the eight heading onto the back stretch 23.4 seconds was the time for the opening quarter in Italian the leader in Italian has the lead three quarters of a length midpoint of the back stretch this name is okay goes second jumbly between horses and then white beam who's right there down toward the inside just a length and a half off the lead then a gap of two more to Evie Jets moves up one spot into fifth Gina Romantica now responds to her inside and Gam's mission and New Year's Eve at the back 46.8 seconds was the time for the first half mile on to the far turn in Italian, a lane off the rail, has the lead by a length. Jumbly tries to move up out of a crowd, out of that battle for second, secures the second spot at least for now by a neck. White Beam is saving the ground around the far turn, down toward the inside. There's a quarter mile to go, and in Italian is the leader. White Beam looks toward the rail, Jumbly looks toward the outside. Evie Jets and then Gina Romantica in Italian leads. In Italian leads it by two and a half. Gina Romantica comes from the outside, and then Evie Jets between that pair. In Italian, Gina Romantica runs off on from the outside in Italian Gina Romantica is right alongside Gina Romantica and Tyler Gaffalione getting up by a neck to win it